Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. The Elvis Dumerville situation out in Denver uh, took a very strange twist late this afternoon. Uh, the situation is with Dumerville, he was owed $12 million this year. John Elway comes out yesterday and says he hopes Dumerville knows that his contract is out of whack and is willing to restructure. If not, it would likely mean that the Broncos would have had to release Dumerville. Well, it came out this afternoon that the Broncos and Dumerville had restructured his contract. So what happens in that case is, essentially, a new contract is written up. A new contract needs to be signed. Well, all of this needed to happen, okay, before 4 o'clock Eastern Time today, okay, based on uh, Dumerville's contract uh, stipulations. The agent for Dumerville... They agreed to the restructure a half hour before the deadline. Dumerville's agent did not send the paperwork back to the Broncos until seven minutes after the 4 p.m. Eastern deadline, 2.07 Central Time. That's the Broncos uh, time zone. So what ends up happening now is essentially Elvis Dumerville has gotten his release uh, from the Broncos. Uh, he is now a free agent. And, you know, it remains to be seen. Is this something the agent did on purpose? Uh, is this something, uh, you know, that was an honest mistake by the agent? I'm sure that information will come out uh, in the coming days. I still think if Elvis Dumerville uh, cares about his long-term career and success, uh, he should definitely come back to the Broncos. I know money's a big factor to these guys. Dumerville's made a lot of money the last two or three seasons. He's still going to get paid a good amount of money, just not $12 million. Uh, 12 million is, you know, top of the rung defensive player kind of money. And, you know, if Dumerville really looks at it, uh, he's probably the second or third best defensive player on his team. Okay. I think the scheme the Broncos play fits his style so well. He's been a Bronco uh, his whole career. His team was 13 and three last year. You know, I don't know if this was agent, uh, agent motivated. Maybe Dumerville had a hand in it getting the paperwork in late so he'd be released. You know, who knows what the situation really is. But I think the bottom line is the Broncos have something good going. I think Dumerville should want to be a part of it. And hopefully him and the Broncos are able to come to terms on a new deal. It remains to be seen what those salary cap ramifications of a new deal would be for the Broncos. So that situation has to play out. Uh, I'm sure... Uh, you know, there's some mixed feelings towards Dumerville and that Denver Broncos front office. But when it comes down to it, he's a talented player. He's a talented edge pass rusher, which is a value position. And I'm sure they'll work together to try to come to a deal. But let me know what you think of this whole situation. Sort of a confusing situation. Hopefully I explained it uh, adequately for you so you understand. But uh, let me know what you think of this situation. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. I upload anywhere from 5 to 10 videos per day here. Uh, usually on the NFL, but all other sports as well. Thanks as always for listening, and have a great night.